My name is Lily Gilmore. I am a senior. I'm graduating this May with a bachelor's in fine arts and a minor in art history. And I am doing uh, the series that I call The Brothel. And the more I researched, the more I found out that mostly it was tall tales and stereotypes and like Miss Kitty type women and not real women and so the more I researched about women that had actually settled the West the more female prostitution came to be and the harder it was to find real stories about them um, so the more I researched the more I was interested in like these women and you know the choices that brought them to a profession that was looked down upon but also helped settle the West and did a lot of like really good things for women today. I would say the Madam is my actual favorite just because of the detail um, and the time that it took. It was the first real step in the direction of the character of this series. So these are all females that I know from um, my personal life that I would I chose uh, based on their personality, their confidence, and obviously they're willing to sit for me. And I used uh, pictures that I had taken of them to create these paintings and accompanied them with the biographies. I have fictional biographies of this brothel and of these women and used their own personalities to help kind of create these fictional women that they're supposed to portray in the paintings. I guess a lot of the criticism that I got as the series has gone on is a lot of the same questions that I've um, received was how can this be like empowering to um, a profession that is mostly like used to like demean women and things like that. More than anything I wanted to just highlight the choices that women were offered in the past but we didn't really know what it was like to live like in that life so that's more where the series came from rather than commentating on whether prostitution was right or wrong. More so it's just like the lack of real options that they had at that time and kind of that they made the best out of a situation that they most likely were thrown into and how a lot of times and that's usually why I used contemporary models is because a lot of times that it's not that different today than it was you know back then you know we always comment on people's decisions and choices and the way they live their lives yet we don't really understand the choices that they were really offered in the first place and so I see this series as kind of a nod to contemporary problems that they're a lot of the same problems that we faced for a hundred years.